Uh, so this IBTSS uh, 2024 conference is our inaugural uh, conference. I mean, it is the first um, uh, academic conference for AUPP. So we have around 100 uh, researchers and scholars from uh, all over the world, from the US, from, the, uh, from India, from Indonesia, from Nepal, um, um, from Thailand and from Europe participating today. And they will be here throughout, th throughout the two days to deliver papers and do networking with uh, fellow researchers. Actually, we, uh, some of the participants here, we already have collaborations with them. On, uh, for example, with, uh, we work with Camera Enterprise for the sustainability part. We are already working with MPTC for the digital part. So this is just to uh, make uh, plans ahead in terms of doing researches that will help align with the uh, efforts that we are putting in for the um, digital and sustainability landscape mm. in Cambodia. Right. So, because we are working with, uh, when we invited the researchers and scholars, they were experts uh, in dealing with businesses that are embracing the sustainability model. Mm -hmm. So, for, for example, if you go to our conference today, we don't have plastic bottles, so it's all paper cups, you know, and water from dispenser. So, uh, these people are from various countries where they are different stage of uh, implementation in terms of the collaboration between sustainability and businesses. So, this is going to be a sharing where we can develop the same model in our country or we, they can learn from our country's model depending where they are coming from. Uh, but in terms of um, initiatives in Cambodia, um, we have heard a lot and in fact in, from my personal experience, if you look at the banking sector, Cambodia has one of the best in terms of incorporating or aligning business with uh, digital technology. Uh, ABA has one of the banking, the best banking um, technologies compared to other countries in Asia or even in Europe and USA. We have colleagues coming back saying that uh, ABA is the best, we don't have this in America, we don't have this in Europe. So I think we have some very good uh, system and technologies already here that people can take away from our conference and similarly we can take something from them what is working in their country and try to incorporate here. Uh, this is just a small initiative because we are researchers, we are academics but when we align it with the, the bigger framework I believe there will be some impact. Yes, as I mentioned earlier banking is one of it mm -hmm. and the others would be like what we heard just now from the can renew your license, uh, your, your car insurance, your road tax just from your house using mobile or your laptop. You don't have to go to uh, the respective uh, departments or post office to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, we experienced that uh, in Malaysia a couple of years back. It started and it's very popular and I believe Cambodia is also trying to go in that direction, uh, trying to uh, create the model of e-government. So I think uh, those are the good case studies that we can talk about. Simple but makes high impact on the community. So uh, it's quite interesting because like I said, uh, although Cambodia sometimes we can say that it's still a developing country, but some of the um, infrastructure here is already the best, like the banking for example. Mm -hmm. But uh, in, other, in other sectors we are quite fragmented. So you see random initiatives by um, um, government or foreign companies in the garment industry, for example, they're very sustainable because it is, it is run by management who comes from abroad, so they bring the best practice. But if you look at the smaller scale, that's where we need to support more. Right? But one of the things that we need to remember when we say any sustainability effort, it has to align with the state of development in the country. So we cannot force everybody to throw away okay, plastic tomorrow and then be sustainable when you're selling food because um, sustainable packaging is very expensive, right? Mm -hmm. So when, if you ask me my own assessment, in the last five years you are making very good progress. Mm -hmm. But there's still a lot of uh, room for improvement. <laughs> And this is where we come in as academics, as uh, you know, uh, NGOs, companies, we all have to come in to work together. And the community, because they are uh, in the, uh, the younger generation especially, they are in schools, like what uh, Excellency say from Khmer Enterprise, they are training students, uh, they are approaching schools, universities to educate them about technology, sustainability, innovations. So the younger generation will be the uh, main driver to make the impact deeper in Cambodia.